us? How many of us? How many jealous? Real friends. There's not many of us. We smile at each other. Yes, you're back here today with another episode of CEO David Uncut and Uncut I Am. My apologies for being left and right and right and left, but I've been busy the last few weeks, but I'm back like another left. All right, let's jump right into it. Yo, first of all, I got to say this. This country is going to shit. And when I say shit, I mean it's going to shit. There's no if, ends, or buts about it. So in D.C., you'll think they learned from um, the gen- this famous January 6th when they rushed the Capitol. No, they still killing people over there like crazy. Killed the cop, a teenager, with a mass shooting, they wilding. And I'm not even talking about the school mass shootings, neither. Look what a regular shooting happened over, and you guessed it, Juneteenth. And who was shooting? And you guessed it. I don't know. I don't know. They ain't figured out. They ain't figured out who shot. But all I'm saying is it looked highly suspicious of who was doing the shooting. That's all I'm saying. We got Juneteenth. What else do we want? Why can't we be peaceful for that one day or that one weekend? Or was it because Juneteenth fell on Father's Day? These are the questions I have that nobody answered. Why the violence was up over the weekend? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, but it's not, it's not a good look for us. We finally got what we wanted. But then again, some black people saying, oh, it shouldn't be a federal holiday. All right, calm down. Be quiet, y'all. Just be quiet. Because if they want to put it like that, uh, July 4th or like, you know, all the other days you get paid time and a half for, or all the other days you get off for work, wouldn't they be like, no, this is done for Jewish people. Like, only Jews could take off, whatever the case would be. Oh, no. There's only for white folks because, you know, they, yeah, whatever. Boom. Uh, Cinco de Mayo. There's only for Mexicans. So if I see a black person celebrating, I will murder you and your entire family. That's that's what they can do. That's what they can do. And besides what's going on down in D.C., and I'm going to see you in New York. We got uh, Mayor Eric Adams. Eric Adams. Shout out to de Blasio because he was a way better mayor. First of all, not only did he put the speed cam to be 24 hours, but, yo, he sing like, he gathered all the dirt bikes, all the dirt bikes to run over them. Like, what? if that's not a hater, then I don't know what a hater is. That's top dog haterade. He could be doing other things, like, you know, putting money back into the economy, fixing up the fucking bridges, uh, fixing up um the Belt Parkway. That should have been, first of all, Belt Parkway been getting fixed for at least 20 years, at least. As long as I can remember, the Belt Parkway's always been under construction and always looked the same every year. But what he's doing, he's funding... The police, not wrong with the police, though, don't get it twisted. I'm not going to say defund them neither, but what I will say is we do need more funding in schools. People, you know, our kids is not getting the education they need unless they are in the upper the neighborhoods. You know what I'm talking about. So that's what Eric Adams is doing, making speeches and destroying dirt bikes for the summer. I mean, he, he don't really care about the people, but I guess because he's black, quote unquote, it's OK. It's not OK, folks. You got to stop voting for people because they're black. I'm sorry. The black politicians seem to be. Worse than the white politicians. I said what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear none of that. I said what I said. Because look, we even got, um, and I hate bringing her up, but Kamala Harris. And she's not even fully black. I don't know what she is. I think she's Indian. But she's in the jack and black to get voted in the office. And look, she's gone. And I can, you know, she's gone, folks. Nobody seen her. Nobody heard from her. She's just there. Like, yeah, she's the vice pres- uh, president on paper, but then you can't find her. You can't find it. She's not meeting with no black leaders, no BOM, no uh, the HBCU to fund it. They not, I ain't going to say they, because we talk about the black people right now. So Kamala Harris, quote unquote, because I don't even know she's black. She's not even doing that. She's not doing that. So what is she doing? Hiding in the shadows. Cracking down on more black folks, you know, on, on, on all the laws that are definitely affect black people. So America, we got to do better as a country. We got to do better as a country, man. This shit has gone crazy out here. Like, right now, the weather is so crazy, right? So let me tell you something. Last weekend, I was uh, I went out to party with my friends with her, right? Allergies was killing me, but that's not the thing that almost killed me. It was like 50 degrees. 50 degrees, that's what it was. I mean, like 50 degrees, so I'm like, yo, I got a sweat and everything on, but I'm still freezing. I'm talking about frosty. Look like Frosty the Snowman out there. You know what I did? I got some look at my system like, yeah, let's power up. You know what happened? The weather said, nah, bro. We're going to drop the temperatures to the early 50s, not the uppity 50s now. Two o'clock in the morning, I'm freezing. Come, come out the club. No, the ball. Freezing. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm almost frosty. It was very unethical. I couldn't move. My knees was weak. It was all the signs 
of getting a, get, getting a COVID, I guess. I, I ain't going to say the flu, COVID, whatever. But I'm negative. I had a test, guys, so don't worry about that. I'm good. So I went to call an Uber, right? Now, hear this out. Uber, Uber, and this is this is our fault. I, I'm going to explain this after this. This is our fault. Though. So Uber set a price, and I'm all the way uptown. If you ever been in New York, I'm all the way up, up east side, right? If you ever been in New York. I took the train to get to 14th Street to be closer to my crib. And the Uber was way, I ain't going to say double the price, but damn, they double the price. Like, they are getting out of control. As, as Americans, yo, we got to stop this. Not in America, us as a country. What I mean by that is, if you look at other countries, you know, I'm not, and I'm talking about for the gas prices and everything. When the citizens don't like it, they actually boycott it. They actually get results. They actually destroy the capital when it's needed to be destroyed. When they politicians, the people that work for them, because in case I don't know, the politicians work for us. The people that work for them or us, whatever you want to call it, if they don't listen, they start fucking things up. Shout out to French, though. They, to me, they number one in doing it. They start riots if the, I think they got a prime minister if even look wrong. Nah, we don't like what he's talking about. Let's start a riot. Let's get him out of office. They do not play. But America, us as American citizens, but we so strong and stuff. But we soft. We're soft. We're soft as baby powder, as pancake mix. Pillsbury dough person. That's how soft we are. We softer than KFC buttermilk biscuits. Pot pies biscuits. Wendy's, uh, Wendy's, uh, Wendy's lemonade. Uh, it's not soft, but it tastes great. So I don't know. It goes in the same category. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Now, check this out, though, y'all. I want y'all to listen to this real carefully, real close. The word the, you know the word the, right? The word the has been, um, has been trademarked by the state of a university in Ohio. The. So every time you say the or write the or whatever, they get paid. You think the would have been already uh, trademarked by somebody. But yeah, they did it. They trademarked it. Or marketed it. Market. You know what I'm talking about. So the. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, the, you know, you can sue or you get things trademarked for almost anything. I don't know what you want. Bill Cosby just lost a case for 500 k for a case, um, he lost 500 k for the case that happened like 50 years ago. Can you imagine that? You damn near about to die and they still suing you for things that you might have or might not done. A 16-year-old being inside the Playboy Mansion, which should be illegal, but I guess it wasn't. I guess he's the only one to get sued for it because he's a black man. Can you believe it? I could because it happened. 500 k in California. What? The fuck is going on, folks? And you think that's crazy? So you know Randy Orton, the wrestler, right? Everybody should know him. That's my guy, Orton. He, not him, his tattoo artist that made a tattoo on him. You know, he got on the tattoos, whatever the case it be. It's showing the WWE because she said they can't use her tattoo on the games. Like, imagine your body. Being held for ransom. That's basically what it is. Like, oh, I'll give you the tattoo, but I don't want my uh, I don't want my designs being in the game. You, you know, you got to pay me for my designs. Even though he already paid her. He already paid her. Ain't his own body. I guess it's not his body, his choice when it comes to uh, WWE or people that are tattooed. Because she's showing that she's actually getting a court date for this. She's actually getting a court date for this. She want like $2 million or something. It's fucking insane. Y'all understand you want, first of all, your artwork is being shown by being on Randy Orton. So people ain't asking, where do you get it from? And he's going to say you. But no, that's not good enough for you. You don't want your artwork to be in games. You said no. But the artwork has already left your hands and went. So basically, she's trademarking that man's body. So once again, folks, it's, it's his body, but it's not his choice anymore. So you got to throw it out the window. I'm just saying, it's his body, but it's not his choice anymore. <laughs> like, what is going on, man? And then Uber. On top of that, it's bringing back Uber Pools. Now, I don't know about y'all, but shout out to Uber Pools. Had some of the best drug nights in my life there. I know y'all saying, oh, it's COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. COVID is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's here. I understand that, right? But it has a lot of fun in that. Yo, I met a lot of people in Uber Pool. A lot of drunk nights. I remember one night I was so drunk. Well, we were so drunk. It was three of us in Uber Pool. 
Yeah, I woke up. We was all sleeping on each other. It was it was crazy. We, you know, you meet people when you're drunk, it's a whole other level. It was fun though. It was definitely fun. I'm not saying that um it's good, be- you know, because uh COVID and everything. All I'm saying is, if it's gonna bring cheaper rides, I might look at it because Uber be doubling doubling up or nothing now. They just be doubling their price because they can because we still buying because we still buying to them. And then people like drug, boycott gas. If we really stood together and boycotted gas, I guarantee the prices go down. I guarantee. Because there's no more demand for it. All that supply, no demand. So people just stop driving one day or like never stop driving minimal to the point of you don't really need to go to the gas station for that one day and boycott it across America. Almost, I can't, I can't 100% guarantee, but I would say since of it getting like gas prices going down is way higher than only half of people boycotting or a quarter of people boycotting. I guarantee it. We have the power. People act like we don't have the power. But we do have the power, folks. You got to remember that we have the power. Whoever they said in that song, I got the power. Woo! We got the power. Yeah, man, it's been a crazy few weeks, though. And, um, you know, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Rappers getting shot left and right. It's a whole lot of negativity going on. But I'm going to wrap it up for this week because uh, I got to get back to the lab and making new songs. Uh, my song is out now. Um. It's called Tea with the Holes. Whenever you're feeling sick, don't forget you need tea with the holes to make you feel better. That's what I'm saying. And then I got the Nemesis Don't Love You featuring. No, no. It's Your Mother Don't Love You featuring Nemesis. My bad. Let's turn it back. Let's switch it back around. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, David's Vision Production. You'll see all the goodest, hottest hits. I'm a rapper, but I'm not. I'm not a rapper. I'm a poetic justice man that got a story to tell. That's it. Shout out to my real friends, because I got low to none. That's all I'm going to say. But listen, that's all for to the, this week. Real friends, how many of us? How many of us? How many jealous? Real friends, there's not many of us. We smile at each other.